Have you ever heard of a condition where children age rapidly? A condition so rare it affects 1 in 20 million? This is progeria. Progeria, or Hutchinson-Gilford progeria syndrome, is a genetic disorder that triggers rapid aging in children. It's a phenomenon first documented by Dr. Jonathan Hutchinson and Dr. Hastings Guilford in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The name progeria itself is quite telling, derived from Greek, pro means before, and geris signifies old age. Children afflicted with progeria experience an accelerated aging process, manifesting characteristics akin to those seen in the elderly. We're talking about thinning skin, hair loss, joint stiffness, and even hardening of the arteries, known as atherosclerosis. This isn't due to lifestyle or environmental factors, but a spontaneous genetic mutation. Progeria, a condition that brings old age to the young, is as fascinating as it is heartbreaking. So, what causes progeria? It all comes down to a single gene mutation. Imagine our DNA as a blueprint, a meticulous instruction manual that orchestrates the formation and function of our bodies. Now, within this vast genetic manual, there's a gene called LMNA. This gene is rather like a maestro, directing the production of a protein known as lamin A. Lamin A is a vital part of our cells, forming supportive scaffolding for the nucleus, the control center of the cell. But in progeria, a spontaneous mutation occurs in this LMNA gene. This mutation is like a typographical error in our genetic manual, leading to the production of a faulty version of lamin A, known as progerin. Progerin is a misfit, a protein that doesn't quite fit into the cellular machinery as it should. It's akin to a wrong piece in a complex jigsaw puzzle, disrupting the smooth picture of normal cellular function. Here's where things get interesting. Progerin can't be processed correctly by the cell, and thus it accumulates within the nucleus. This accumulation distorts the shape of the nucleus, causing it to bulge and wrinkle, much like how our skin wrinkles with age. This distortion compromises the nucleus's function, leading to the rapid aging characteristics we see in progeria. What's fascinating, and equally tragic, is how this single genetic mutation triggers such a cascade of effects. From a microscopic genetic typo we see the macroscopic onset of rapid aging, affecting everything from the skin to the cardiovascular system. This is not an age-old tale of time's wear and tear but rather a genetic anomaly that accelerates the clock, bringing old age to the young. It's also worth noting that progeria is not a disease passed down from parent to child. Most cases are sporadic, meaning they occur randomly. It's a roll of the genetic dice, underscoring how much of our lives are dictated by the genetic hand we're dealt. Despite its spontaneous occurrence, progeria shows us how profoundly a single genetic mutation can impact our bodies. The effects of progeria go far beyond a rapid aging appearance. This condition imposes a host of health challenges on those affected, making everyday life quite a battle. Imagine a little child, barely five years old, grappling with joint stiffness, a condition we usually associate with the elderly. That's the harsh reality for children with progeria. Their bodies also develop atherosclerosis, a hardening of the arteries that is typically seen in older adults. This makes their tiny hearts work overtime, leading to severe cardiovascular issues. These issues are not just confined to heart-related problems but also strokes, a medical condition that's rare in children but common in progeria patients. These health challenges form a daunting mountain that these brave little souls have to climb every single day of their lives. Unfortunately, the steep climb significantly shortens their lifespan. Most of these children bearing an old soul in a young body sadly do not survive beyond their early 20s. While there is no cure for progeria, efforts to manage its symptoms and improve patients' lives are ongoing. Treatment strategies primarily focus on mitigating the health complications associated with the condition. Cardiovascular issues, joint pain, and musculoskeletal challenges are managed with a combination of medications and physiotherapy, but that's not all. There's a constant drive in the medical community to push the boundaries of what's possible. Researchers are tirelessly working to develop targeted therapies that address the genetic mutation at the heart of progeria. Clinical trials are in progress, testing potential drugs that could reduce the production of the harmful protein, progerin, that causes the rapid aging in progeria patients. These are promising times. Each new discovery brings us a step closer to understanding this rare and complex condition. In the face of progeria, the human spirit endures, fueling the quest for better treatments and hopefully a cure someday.